We had a we had a tweet that came in 21 minutes ago to at Harmontown. It said, "Finish your Indiana Jones tangent." <laughs> oh, the uh, your, your pitch. Uh, you, you're going to make an Indiana Jones movie. Wait, wait was, that, was that what it is? Oh, the, oh, the ride. Oh, oh, the ride. Well, we went on the ride. We went to Disneyland. We went on the ride. It was, it was fun. <laughs> Happy uh, uh, Slater. <laughs> Slater? Is that a reference to my show? Uh, I, I, I don't like the ride that much. I've been on. I remember when it came I out. I was very Indiana excited. Jones ride. I was very excited about it, but like, it's not the best. Disneyland has a weird hypnotic thing going where you're so satisfied with so little. I, I, I can't, but it's not, like they also though they do so many things so right. I, I can't figure it out. We went to Magic Mountain together, right. and that's all just about thrills, chills, and spills. <laughs> and I haven't been paid to tell you that. Uh, but that's just walking around a park like you're going from one roller coaster to another. The most right. terrifying one of all, the X two or whatever, because they won't fucking get, tell you what it is. Everything is like, oh, was the Cocoa Puffs ride? Yeah, you're crazy for Cocoa Puffs. You have to f help me find more cocoa on this ride. Uh, it's the best and, and ride. And so you go, like, well, this is stupid. But they, but they used to find cocoa. But the X2 thing, they just the whole ride, they keep going. Are you ready for this? Do you know what you're doing? Well, Are you sure? Have you said goodbye to your loved ones? They, they changed it because when, when it was just X. Have you guys been to Magic Mountain and been on X or X2? Fucking good. If you like, if you like scary rides. But the original, I'm certain of this. I went on it like three times. Uh, the original X, you know, you're like, like, keep your hands and arms inside the train at all times, like that little spiel you get. The X one was like, everybody, you're about to be on X. X is a, is a, is a thrilling experience. They're like, make, make sure that you, like, uh, you, you leave your keys with somebody you trust because you're about to go on X. And it's really right. crazy. And it's kind of like, drink, drink some orange juice. Your, your, your jaw may wiggle a yeah. little bit. <laughs> but they, they were really you expect you for unsolicited it. back rubs and. Uh, <laughs> Expressions of intent to call one another more often. Uh, uh, millennials will call it E. Uh, I was told by some guy that came in for some pitch meeting. He's, he's telling me about the four stages that generations go through. He's like, baby boomers are the blah 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 generation, and the generation X is this. They they always react to the previous generation, and then the next. The, it sounded like. It was such bullshit. I can't articulate. I wanted to like throw a rock at the guy's head because I was like, "What are you saying? You're just you're, you're just saying what your brain wants to be the case." There's nothing. There's nothing entertaining about this tangent. I I, I just it was so interesting to me because of course we all think in rhythms of four, but we're all projecting like, "Oh yeah, remember that World War II generation?" Like they sat around saying that. No, let's be a big generation and go fight World War II. Yeah. Uh, you know, we we spent the entire day as people do at Disneyland talking about all the many people who have died at Disneyland. Right. Which alarms me, because I have to figure that that means like 40 people die at Magic Mountain every week and no one talks about it. But like, there's like 15 things. If you go Google it, you know, Google Disneyland deaths, it's very interesting. The most horrific one is uh, is the Mark Twain boats coming in. I, was, I wasn't working that day, but I was an employee of Disneyland when that happened. I could have been, and I did a show right in front of that. It could have happened right there. I was there with Gorley, and he said, you were there too. And, uh, and he was saying, yeah, I worked here when that uh, Smoke Mountain the uh, decapitation happened or something like like what was it Thunder Mountain the railroad yeah. like some kid I, got I, disconnected yeah. and then <sighs> it's, it's, you break his neck the or people, there's two groups of people the people that know what I'm talking about the people that are like Shh, get to your fucking point uh, and I'm sorry about that uh, I, I, I want to describe the one Disneyland death that that, that is amazing to me yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's the Mark it's, Twain boat coming in it's so gross and when it comes around if it's beyond a certain speed, you're supposed to let it go all the way around. Like, and the people on board, it happens sometimes. They go, "What the fuck?" And they're, well, "Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming in too fast. Uh, wouldn't want a horrible thing to happen." So, uh, we're going all the way around. And I'm sure everyone's like, "Fuck you, you fucking dick!" Also, I, was talking, people, I, I got people, a fast pass to fucking uh, Green Green Lantern's asshole. Have you ever seen? I got I got I got to be there at 10:30, or I'm gonna fucking lose the time of my life. You're fucking around with me, you fucking bureaucrats. What they don't know is that what happens when you don't do that is this. The, the, the riverboat came in a little too fast. The uh, manager on duty didn't know enough to like, I think he was, he was not the regular guy. I'm not sure how much is apoc ap apocryphal, as you say, a word I learned from you, how much isn't. Uh, but I, I, I read this on many websites. Uh, and, and they had animated GIFs on the side that were like no. uh, but skulls that had 
had mouse ears on them. So uh, I think this is the real story. <laughs> The riverboat came in. They didn't. They tied it off, even though it was coming in too fast. The rope went tout, and tot. and and the first thing that happened is it. What? How are you supposed to say tout? Tot. You say tout? Tout. No, a, a tout is a guy that gives you tips at a racetrack. Bagel. Bagel. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I. I, I, I Honestly, if you're gonna teach people English, like, like, like well, I mean, I, I, I only ever read these words. I never heard anyone say them. My mom never said tout. <laughs> Taught. Taught. Tout. I, I read it. I know what it means. He, Dan still says bagel. It's a bagel. It's a ba- It's a ba- bag. The first three letters are bag. <laughs> You put shit in a bag. You guys are dicks. You know, I, I, I just, I just don't get it. And one day you will. <laughs> uh, the the rope, the rope stretches. Across it goes hanky panky. That was a that was embarrassing. I'm sorry about that. Across the shins of the of the guy who called for the uh, tying off of the thing snaps both of his shins in half because it goes so tight. That's the, that's chapter one. If they, I wouldn't even mention this story if that's all that happened. The rope then pulls on the metal cleat in the dock so hard that the metal cleat uproots from the wood and slingshots at the speed of sound across Disneyland and explodes a dude's head. Yeah, and from, from what I remember, and again, who knows how much is apocryphal or not, but uh, one guy's foot got mostly severed, I believe, and it went through a guy's head who got mostly decapitated. There was like, also, yeah, and the dude's shoe, the guy's shoe, I don't, I don't know how familiar you are with Frontierland, uh, but uh, apparently the dude's foot, the, the, guy, the guy's shoe landed in the Mexican restaurant, which is, which is a, it's not... It's not right there. It's like it's, it's, it's a long a, way for a shoe to go if your well, foot's still in it. Yeah, the fr- fr- Frontierland. Is, uh, uh, you'd be racist to assume Frontierland is right where the Mexican restaurants are. <laughs> it was a civilized, like it was a, it was a, it was a Tomorrowland adjacent Mexican restaurant yeah. that served only progressive Mexican food. Yeah. Uh, they had hologram uh, refried beans and uh, yeah. uh, laser, laser laser churros. Laser churros. <laughs> Uh, anyways, you've left out the important part. That wasn't uh, the shoe had the foot still in it. I believe so. The right. guys, the, the thing went through the guys, uh, went through a guy's face and knocked his head off, and there was blood everywhere apparently. And then it went through a guy's foot, and the foot landed in someone's en- enchilada. And uh, and then uh, it's in the news for an hour because Disneyland owns the entire goddamn world. And uh, they, they, they go, hey, everybody, you can run this for 24 hours, and then if you if you run it again. We'll shut you down. Like what? Well, well, by, we'll, by the time the newspapers ran it, the story was that Disneyland had a new severed foot world. <laughs> <laughs> they had they had created a whole mythology. There were costume characters. There was a mayor of severed foot l- world. There was a new ride. Uh, uh, Mark Ruffalo was there. <laughs> Everyone was pretending to have one foot, and, and they were singing a song that was written by Randy Newman. It was uh, uh, they, they were there. It's 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 a dystopia. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dystopic. You nightmare. got a foot in your food. <laughs> I don't you got need a foot, foot in your food. <laughs> I don't need no foot because I'm not in the mood. I said you got a foot in your food. 